Hey there, Lutiful people, I'm Pete, here to bring you another um, exciting episode of Looter News on this fine Friday, August 14th. My friends, have you ever looked down at your steaming hot bowl of ramen and thought, you know, I wish this was like way, way cooler? Well, of course, we all have, it's human nature. Well, finally, food science has caught up with human thoughts and wishes. Lucky visitors to the Cup Noodle Museum in Japan can purchase not one, but two different ramen flavored soft serve ice cream treats. What? This is a real thing. Okay, so the curry ramen flavor is topped with the same type of freeze dried stuff that comes in a cup noodle. In this case, beef, onion, carrot, and potato. The soy sauce ramen soft serve has freeze dried shrimp, green onions, and egg. Mmm! My goodness, this sounds so delicious and refreshing. It's like having a weekend at the McEvil Health and Education Spa and Resort. So for now, the only way to try these exotic concoctions is to head over to Yokohama, pony up about four bucks for the entrance into the Cup Noodle Museum, and then plunk down an extra $2.50 or so for frozen ramen delight. Field trip? You guys wanna take a field trip? Now in slightly more extraordinary news, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen movie is about to get a reboot, or the amazing graphic novels by man wizard Alan Moore are getting a less horrible adaptation than the 2003 film that made Sean Connery pretty much quick acting, depending on how you look at it. This new film is expected to be female-centric. Now a lot of news sites are comparing this to the Ghostbusters reboot or saying that we should expect a gender-bent LXG, but producer John Davis actually says that their approach to the film is that they are, quote, going back to the roots and making it authentic to what the fan base was really excited about. It's female centric, which I think is really interesting. I love female characters, point of view characters in action movies. He then went on to cite Mad Max Fury Road as an inspiration, probably because the movie is f awesome, or more likely because Charlie Theron's Furiosa was basically the protagonist and all the female characters actually had agency instead of being plot devices. Finally, we get a good one. In the original LXG story by Moore, Mina Murray of Dracula fame actually led the team of literary heroes as opposed to Connery's Alan Quartermain. So it remains to be seen whether Davis just means that the property is gonna be closer to the source material or we're expecting another reimagining. So looters, would you like to be fueled by a ramen ice cream? And are you willing to give the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen another shot after that thing came out in 2003? Let us know in the comments down below and be sure to check the description to see if you are Wednesday's Mick winner. As always, click that subscribe button for more Looter News brought to you by the power of Mick Evil Corp. Mick Bading.